what's up? My name is Technobie here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another guide video. This is more of a tip than a in-depth guide. However, if you're running Windows 11 or are looking for a reason to upgrade, this may be one of them. With the latest Windows 11 22H2, which is the second half of 2022's update for Windows 11, they introduced a massive feature for windowed gamers on Windows 11. I'll get into in-depth explanation about what it could possibly improve in the latter half of this video. However, for now, I'll show you how to turn it on. Hit start, open up settings, then head across to the system tab, followed by display. Scroll down to the very bottom and choose graphics. Then at the very top, default settings, choose change default graphic settings and inside of here you'll see optimizations for windowed games as well as a link to learn more about it. This doesn't link to the super nerdy in-depth post but it does talk about what it can do to help. Essentially if you turn this feature on whenever you run a windowed game on Windows 11 it'll render a bit differently using their new model for DirectX 10 and 11 games that appear in windowed or borderless windowed. Essentially you'll get much lower latency because of how things are processed on your PC. Previously, games that run in windowed mode draw out a frame to be displayed and then send it across to Windows. Windows sticks it in wherever it's supposed to be, say this little box over here, and then it's pushed over to your screen instead of your game just pushing it straight from itself to your monitor directly. There's an extra step involved, which can lead to extra latency, especially if something weird is happening with Windows in the background. However, now things are done a little bit differently. As far as I understand, there's sort of a black box drawn wherever your game is supposed to be, and your game just outputs information pretty much directly to your monitor instead of having to bounce through Windows first. At least that's what I'm getting from it. Instead of using their new legacy BLT model, I'm not too sure what bacon, lettuce, and tomato have to do with this. However, it's a great improvement for those who play in windowed or windowed portless mode. Previously on Windows 10 and things like that, in fact even now, I'd tell you to run games in exclusive full screen mode or full screen mode if you don't have that other option available. Essentially that just outputs directly whatever you're seeing straight to your monitor and you have the lowest latency possible. However, now on Windows 11, you can have boardless or windowed games with pretty much the same sort of input latency without anything extra added onto it. For me, that's super good news as I like being tabbed out and multitasking as anyone who knows me knows I am a fan of. But anyways, it's just a super simple tip. If you're running Windows 11 or looking for any reason to upgrade, this is something that may interest you. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.